right, so now I'm in the process of taking out my first pair of hognose snakes that I'm going to breed this year. Um, it's going to be Sassy and Steve, and they actually been down in brumation for 12 weeks. So this is my first time seeing them. And this right here is Sassy. Let's see how she is. Let's see, she's moving a little bit. All right. Uh oh, there you go. The hissing. And as you can see, I've kept her in Cocoa Core and Sam, so she's doing good. Got a few tongue flicks. And so, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna keep her in this Tupperware container for two days. Um, they actually heat up pretty quick, and then I'm gonna put her in her own um, container, but still keep her at room temperature so she can have more room to move. And then after a week, um, I'll put her back on heat and offer her her first meal. And then uh, we'll start the breeding process or the pairing process. So this is the first one right here. She's looking a lot, of really green. I don't remember her being this green, but uh, let me go get Steve, her boyfriend, who I'm gonna be pairing her with. All right, and Steve is somewhere down here amongst all this cocoa core. As you can see, he buried himself. So let's see if we can find him. Get him to come up. Oh, I hear him. I just don't really see him. All right, I feel his tail. Come on, buddy, it's time to wake up. Can I find it? Oh, here is it. Here he is. Poking his head out. See if we can get some of this cocoa core. Just buried him again. We can get him to come up and show you what he's looking like. All right, this probably is as good as I'm going to get. But he's doing really well. As you can see those slow tongue flicks. And we're going to get him set up. Like I say, I'm just going to leave him in this in container for two days, let him heat up a little bit, then move him into um, his regular size bin so he can have some room to move around. And we'll hopefully he can start breathing this year. All right, so this is the next day. I actually decided to take them out a little earlier because he's actually a little more active than I thought. And let's put him in here, back in his enclosure. Let me see. All right, he's looking good. All right, now let's go get his girlfriend. All right, and here's the female sassy. Big girl. And I'm gonna temporarily put her in this smaller bin right here for this first week um, till she gets acclimated and starts feeding before I put her in her larger enclosure. So yeah. See, she is very green. So I'm wondering if the babies are gonna be green as well. 